Uh, hello, uh, my name is Nick Akins. I'm the research curator at the Van Abbe Museum. Um, and I'm delighted to have you uh, listening to this uh, conversation between uh, the artist Yael Davids uh, and Moor Bashan and Ruti Sala from the uh, Noah Eshkol uh, Foundation archive in, in Holon in Israel. Um, this conversation is uh, happening in the context of uh, Yael's exhibition and research project at the Van Abbe Museum. Uh, a daily practice, uh, which is uh, currently showing at the museum until the end of September. A project that began uh, three years ago within the context of a, a CRD, a Creator Doctus, a research trajectory uh, done in collaboration with the Rietveld Academy in Amsterdam. Um, so I think before we begin, it would be really nice if I invite uh, Yael, Moore and Ruti just to introduce themselves um, a little bit. Hello from Tel Aviv, from uh, Holon, from the historical house of uh, Noah Kol, and uh, we're the center of the Noah Kol Foundation for uh, Movement Notation. We are just uh, here, very happy to join you all. Uh, to talk to you. My name is uh, Mo. First of all, I see myself as a, I'm very proud to be a dancer of the Noah Kohl uh, Chamber Dance Group. Second one, uh, after joining the Chamber Dance Group, I was invited uh, to assist Michal Shushani, who is uh, the head of the Noah Kohl Archive, to help her out and be part of the digitization team of the archive. Uh, so I'm dancing, and then after rehearsing, also uh, practicing here the research, my research in the archival, with the beautiful archival materials here. And uh, third hat, uh, I'm also a teacher of the movement and the movement notation. I'm teaching uh, professional dancers as well as non-dancers, and uh, of course, uh, children. And I'm very proud uh, to be part of uh, the Noah Kohl team and to be able to study from the, from Ruti, Sela, and Racheli, which is not here at the moment, from the closest uh, resource maybe to the origin. So I think uh, maybe it's time for uh, Ruti to introduce herself. אני מדברת בעברית. ניק, ניק כבר הציג אותי ואמר את השם שלי. אז אני רותי סלע, או כבר ניק אמר, ואני עם נועה מ-1968 עד 2007. אין הרבה מה להגיד, כי זה מה שעשיתי כל חיי. כל יום לבוא הנה. ולעבוד עם נועה בתנועה ובכתב, ואחר כך, יותר מאוחר, בשטיח, לעזור, לעבוד יחד איתה בשטיחים שהתחילה ליצור ב-1973. נכון. כנראה נולדתי להיות רקדנית של נועה, ואין לי מה להגיד על זה, כי זה... אלה הם חיי. והיום, סליחה, אני מאוד מאושרת שהבנות הצעירות יצטרפו אלינו, ושאני יכולה ללמד את הריקודים ואת הכתב של נועה, את הדור הצעיר, ולהעביר את, המש... את משנתה של נועה לאנשים צעירים. <אז> כי אני חושבת שזה... See how you feel. Yeah, because then it means that it's alive, you know, that it's not something that, uh, that the knowledge is uh, spread uh, out there. Yeah. The legacy and the state and everything. Nick, I think the conversation starts already, no? <laughs> yeah, yeah, El, um, maybe just uh, uh, introduce yourself, please. I'm the, I'm the artist who so I did the, the a daily practice, the exhibition I worked uh, for. It started as research with Richfeld and with Nick, and it ended, in, it, it, I think it never will end, but it's, um, it's have now a, a, a proposition as an exhibition in Fanabi Museum where we thought 
I thought with Nick, Nick thought with me about how I, I don't really believe in the concept of solo. So who are the people that kind of, um, let's say a bit like Ruti talk about knowledge, embedded knowledge. So who are the people who help me to form my artistic practice? Who are the people that I, um, I, um, I take courage from to keep Anne in my way and so we, there's a lot of loans in the exhibition, different artists, and uh, Noah Shkol was a very essential figure in relation to Feldenkrais, in relation to Noah Shkol, of course. So, did I introduce myself? That's perfect. That's perfect. And then maybe just to give a little bit of um, context to cover some, some basics for some people who may not be uh, familiar with uh, Noah Eshkol, the archive uh, movement notation, um, more and Ruthie, could, could you just briefly give a very kind of, yeah, a, a summary of um, movement notation, its principles, um, uh, and the work of the the work of the company? Uh, the most uh, intriguing thing about the movement notation is that it's a uh, Noah's motivation to look for a. Uh, compositional uh, tool or device. This is what she was aiming to, to find for herself, first of all, uh, to find an objective uh, tool that would allow her and that would um, be um, some kind of a generator for new movement uh, accord or movement uh, combinations, if you want. And she was uh, unsatisfied and unhappy with the world of dance because she wanted to, and she couldn't understand how come uh, this discipline, dance or movement, has got no notation. How come there is no dance notation or movement notation that would serve the art of dance or the art of movement just like uh, the movement, uh, uh, the musical uh, notation. So coming from the, from the music uh, world, getting to know the role of the music uh, notation, she started to, um, to make her own research, finding uh, the right uh, dance notation or uh, movement notation. She was aware that there were already a few uh, uh, dance notation like Laban and Benesh and she went to London the end of the 40s uh, where she studied uh, Laban notation. She was apparently unhappy or not satisfied enough with uh, what she found in the Laban notation and she realized that if she wants to have a notation that is not only for uh, documentation or a uh, uh, Analisa, but as a notation that would serve her as a compositional uh, tool, she would have to invent uh, her own. And uh, so for me, this is uh, what I always like to emphasize talking about the, the notation. It's true that all the archive is uh, uh, encompassing 50 years of uh, research and uh, other applications of the notation to other fields of uh, movement. But it was very important for her to make sure that her movement notation is not dense notation, but movement notation, which means it has nothing to do with any specific uh, dance style like the other notation that were uh, exist. So there is this uh, movement notation versus dense notation and then another thing that the notation uh, that she invented uh, allow her it's to make uh, this distinction also between uh, choreography and versus composition. Mm -hmm. uh, for her, she um, she saw herself as we said that she was very much influenced by the music world. She saw herself as uh, composer, not as a choreographer. And this notation, uh, one of the beauty of it, we think that it's based on the structure of the human body, of the skeleton of the human body. This is why the sphere or the globe, as you call it, 
is used the, the, the um, idealistic um, system of reference because on, on the geometry of a, of a sphere, because mm -hmm. the structure of the, the human body, you can imagine it or as a, a chain of straight lines or straight axes, a branch of, a, of, a, of, of axes, mm -hmm. uh, that each limb or straight line, or each limb is imagined to be a straight line or a straight axis, that is connected or attached to another uh, limb. They are attached by a joint, which allow us to straighten or uh, bend our uh, limb. And as a result of it, that of this uh, structure, each movement of the human uh, body, of any other body, you name it, uh, robotic, it, or it will always be part of part a circle. Of the circle. Mm -hmm. And so it's on. It's not only fit to a, a human being. It's fit to an animal that have the same uh, construction structure. structure. Yes. And you can write uh, the moving of a uh, tan. Of a How, jackal of the golden jackal. jackal. The god, yes. Or a uh, Hasidot. How you call it? Stroke. Huh? Hasidot the um, tzipor, no? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> With the long uh, the elephant, you know the, 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 the no. giraffe. No, 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 no. The one that the words with the It's stroke, no, S C R O K. Flamingo. E. Flamingo, no. yes, too. Also, also, flamingo yes. as well. Flamingo, it's good. <laughs> no, no, flamingo. It's, but she also had photo of flamingo in the, so it's good. Yeah. Mm. And the horses and the and dog and the cats, because they have the same con uh, structure. Thank you, um, uh, Moen Ruti. And and Yael, um, the Noah Eshkol is is uh, such a, a kind of important figure both within the exhibition and the research and the, in the exhibition at the Van Abba, there's um, material from the uh, workshops with children which we'll talk about in more detail in a second as, as people enter the, the building it's the first thing they encounter there's this extraordinary cabinet which you've uh, created to host so much of the uh, material from the from the archive um, could you say a little bit, I mean, you talk about it in the booklet so beautifully the first time you went to um, uh, see some of the, uh, the movement to performance from the uh, Noah Eshkol company. Um, could you talk a little bit about your relationship to Noah Eshkol and, of course, the relationship between Noah Eshkol and, and Feldenkrais before we go specifically into the, into the workshops? It would be lovely to, to hear. It's a big relation to, to, to my mother, in a way, in general, and to, yeah, to, to, to the state I come from. Um, and it's an example of, of a way of working, a very communal way, but still being a, a core of something of interest. I, uh, I saw Noa Eshkol, I think, I don't know if I was a child, but I was quite, I don't know, I was younger than 12, that's for sure. I remember it very scattered that my mother took me to Seminar Kibbutzim, to sit on a floor and I saw this group and now I know I saw Rutisela, of course, as a child. <laughs> and I just remember this very strange sensation. My mother was very excited. I didn't understand so much, but I remember something very strange. It's, it's really stayed with me, a very physical experience of watching and, and realizing first that nobody do anything for me as observer, that it's not like a performance for the public, that it's really exercise almost or practice something. And the other thing I really remember strongly is a sense of gravity, that the front was not front, that I, when I went before with my mother to theater, I always saw people look at the front. But I remember as a child, this feeling from, almost from falling, like, and later I, I saw it again and I understand it more because the front all the time changing. So that's the first thing I remember. And then later, I think when we did the lessons, I became a, a practitioner in Feldenkrais, and I was astonished to realize Elat Almagor, which was my teacher, but also was the teacher of Mo. Mm -hmm. um, she, I was astonished when she mentioned Noish Kol that she actually transcript all the um, lessons. So all the lessons we are using are actually transcripted, transcripted by the group of Noish Kol. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
And then I became very, very eager. And then she said they were a very good friend and Noah was a student of Feldenkrais. So suddenly another aspect came to it. In a way then the, the, the figure of uh, Noah Kohl is a kind of a, a, a bridge between different parts of your, your life and your work. Noah is your, your, your childhood, your work in uh, performance and movement, and then uh, your most yeah, recent work and engagement and practice with Feldenkrais. It's a, uh, a figure that somehow extends through these different parts of your... Yeah, your I also like it because it's is that in a show there's somebody from Israel. You know what I mean? It was for me very difficult to find someone. <laughs> Mm. But no, Ashkar, okay, you know, you can adopt the quality. But of course, then it became something else because I met, uh, I was in two weeks, I think, in the archive. And this was for me really, yeah, quite incredible experience. Uh, very conforming to who I am and to mm. what the, the, the norms and the morals and the ethics I believe in working. I just saw it happening, you know, the name of what it means a daily practice, like I would say, that's what I did daily. And it entails everything. It entails eating and talking and sharing. I mean, there is no separation between shouting, fighting. Shouting. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. And also, oh. and, and then take it further to more. I mean, I find out that me and more can talk for hours. We are just two freaks. I'm on Fernie Christ and she and Noah. <laughs> we could also fight, but luckily we don't. Because actually Noah and... Can we? Well, yeah, but can how... We? <laughs> But like it's very different way of looking at the body, yeah, and Christ, which is really yeah. interesting, actually. The motivations are very different. Yeah, the motivation also. First of all, I mean, it's yeah. not Noish calls a, a it's not, no. way of treating the the body. It's uh, there is nothing therapeutic in it. I mean, this yeah, might be the the subtext. I mean, because we don't like the word therapeutic in Feldenkrais. Christ. We start to argue. <laughs> it's not ah, therapeutic. You'd, okay, so maybe it's not therapeutic, but it's not for to uh, perform uh, uh, forms. Yeah, yeah. Forms, you know, or, or I mean, I don't know if you do have the aesthetic values uh, involved in the practice. You don't have time. No, no, we have aesthetic values. And time is uh, the, the essence of, uh, of any dance, or yeah. I mean, this is maybe what makes the enormous difference for me between uh, practicing yoga, Feldenkrais, or dancing. Mm -hmm. It's the, the time, the, the, the dimension of the time that is involved. It's true that uh, in Noah's uh, dance composition, there is no uh, music, but uh, I think that uh, what she succeeded to do and uh, aiming to do it's to create some kind of a uh, visual uh, music yeah and, uh, i think that yeah once you you happen to watch or be a witness uh, to witness uh, the chamber dance group uh, performing with dancers it's you can see that our dance composition are super uh, mm -hmm. musical mm -hmm. but I אפשר להגיד על כל דבר שהוא מרפא. רותי אומרת, אני חושבת שאנחנו יכולים להגיד על כל דבר שהוא מרפא. אבל כן, תרפוטיקה יש לו מאוד חשוב. אבל ההבדל שפלדן קרייס באמת רצה לטפל בכאבים ובמחלות של אנשים, ונועה רצתה ליצור ריקודים. By the way, זה מרפא את נפש הרקדן, כמובן, אבל זו לא המטרה. No, I don't start with wanting to assist people and help them with pain or with functioning. And, and, uh, no, I'm, I'm correcting you a bit, of course, because I'm doing it better about Frankas, and then Noah Shkol was... I think it's selective... Uh, yeah, and Noah Shkol was yeah. interesting. Uh, <laughs> the Frankas <laughs> Prize will uh, sound uh, more uh, attractive. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. 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 Okay. <laughs> and Noah Shkol was interested in creating a composition, you know, so it's very different. Um, and, uh, and of course, what he's saying, that's very beautifully, at the end, it's healed the people who danced. In Noah Shkol Chamber. It also was a process. It's all of the tragic uh, dancer. Yeah. yeah.
live. I remember speaking to you on the phone or Skype when you were there and you were going every day and you talk about it also beautifully in the book, in the booklet, your experience of, of, of visiting there. You talk about it as a laboratory, a pocket and a womb, these amazing uh, adjectives. Um, this kind of sense of a, yeah, a collective learning process or a collective uh, ritual even, which you also see in the movements of these children, this kind of sense of um, repetition, not for repetition's sake, but as a kind of learning process. Um, could you, yeah, could you kind of reflect a little bit on on being in the archive, learning from uh, from Moore and Ruthie, um, visiting all this material, um, and how that kind of sense of a collective learning process, of a sense of routine, of a sense of a daily practice is informed your research? First of all, it's just the material, no? It's incredible. If you go to the, to the archive, I think, because I worked before with different archives, and I think what was for me very beautiful in this archive, that it's still not so guarded, in a sense that it's still very, very connected to its origin. The contact with the material was very original, but really original um, in the essence of the word original, you know, like touching it, feeling it, material get brown, material have coffee spot. It's, it feels so correct in a way. And this is maybe coming back to the learning process that it's used, it's a used material. It's not there to frame it. Or, I mean, it could be, everything there could be framed, of course. It's all is beautiful, but it's not. And I think this is so beautiful. And maybe that's why also we went to make this cabinet and not to frame it because it's an active it's an active place. It's an active archive, you know? It's alive, an... exactly. Living it's... archive. What? It's, it's right? a living yeah. and archive. And that's for me, and you know, probably it will change maybe because we know the world, we know that things are, you know, there is this always need to, to frame things and to guard them and to regulate things. And, and also in order to like make people, things live for longer. But I, I don't know, for me, this is, I think, the essence. And then, of course, everything is part of it. And part of it is the people, you know, if it's Ruti and more. I mean, I can a different Ruti and more from the, from the material. That's why, for me, this um, conversation is as important as visiting or as touching. And then, of course, to go up and to see you dancing, you know, like this, and to hear you shouting, and then to have a dinner after this kind of beautiful... Wow. Beautiful lunch. It's like exactly the food I would eat food lunch with my father. So it's always a cottage. It's like the things that I can just count them at the end. <laughs> In a cottage, a, a hard egg, and and, and cut and vegetable, and same and, like in the seventies in the kibbutz. Yeah, but it's just like what I think. What's very moving? It's what the more said. That it's just a living organ. You know, it's that. It's not. Um, and, and I think learning, and also coming from Ferdinkers, learning is a living process, you know? It's not, it, you don't resolve anything in one day, or you don't, it's all the time keeping on. And I think that's what was very moving for me. Also to see Ruti and Re, Re looking at the videos and revisiting the videos and, and talking about it and always getting exciting again and again. So as if the material is still alive. Um, so it's, it's history, but it's also not. But I think that's what Ruti said, that she, the happiness of passing it to another generation and then through rocking and the um, and the what's for me also interesting now with the show nick is to find out that we created everything noish called foundation but it's real to realize that there were more people around it that there's john harrison that there's dita that you know it's of course noish call is the brain but also that it is a collective in a way and um uh, I think what people might see at various moments in this in this recording, and one of the things that maybe just to to steer the conversation towards um, is uh, some of the work that was done with movement notation um, and children, and to think a little bit about uh, how the movement notation system was, yeah, was was applied or practiced um, uh, with children. Um, I remember, um, Yael, when you showed me or we looked at some of this uh, video uh, material from the archive for the first time in uh, Cholon, um, you and Moore started sort of um, 
you were you were laughing or you were pointing out certain things very much about the aesthetics and before we get into the um before we get into the kind of nature of the the workshops and the work with children itself could you talk a little bit about uh Yael, first of all what about what it was about seeing that material for the first time what it um yeah what it evoked or what struck you about it First of all, maybe as a small introduction, what was shocking for me when I came to the Noish Core Foundation that to realize that everybody there was originally from kibbutz, including Ruti, including Noah. So this was for me like, aha, something really I fell to, to place. Um, and then like, just to come back to your first question, I think that was for me what's very fascinating in Noah because the, what people share is not a, a land or, or ideology or nation, it's, it's, it's an ethics of work, which for me was like a kind of uh, alternative to the dream the kibbutz build and another ground, you know, of interest, of engage, but not into the ideologically, it has to do with whatever, with nation. But, and actually, that's what we saw, I think, when we watched the film. It was like, yeah, I'm still smiling. I still have this happiness only when I think about it because it's, it took me to a period where I grew up and I think where more grew up and maybe with Ruth. But uh, there was a sort of naivety and there was a sort of faith uh, that the dream we passed into socialism, into sharing, that we could build another world, you know? There is for me so much hope in these films and so much investment of love and energy. And I think what was moved is more really to recognize, so to recognize the, the grass field, to recognize the clothes. You know, it was just seeing me or probably more just saw herself. We can recognize ourselves. And, and really um, what I liked in a way in a kibbutz, but also in this film, it's this idea that you are faced by a project, that a project, a project is erasing you, but in a good way, you know, that it's not about who I am. It's about what I give to the project. And I think that's what you see in this film. They are not, they are just concentration. These kids are so into the project and more, I think that's something that for me very much with Feldenkrais also, the aesthetic is an aesthetic of learning. When you see a process of learning, I think it's a beautiful process. And, and I, I, you can see it in this film. That's why they're so beautiful. There's playfulness. There's something very open. There's curiosity, but there's also obeying, you know, to the structure. So all these elements, it's not about this girl and these parents and this character or it's come through, of course, it's filtered through. So that's what I, uh, yeah. Yeah, and, and I think also, if I can add something right. to, to what you said, just to, I think it's very pure, maybe, and innocent. Yeah. And uh, yeah, of course, evokes a lot of uh, beautiful memories and uh, from our childhood. Uh, me personally, I can even uh, identify or recognize some of the kids there because it's from the same valley or same kind of uh, villages where I... Uh, grew up so I'm familiar also with the kids so it's it's very familiar yeah, actually very familiar. and maybe also very organic and also to realize that it was part of the of any curriculum of the elementary school it's completely agenda uh, you can see boys and girls are uh, practicing and enjoying uh, um, producing uh, movements according to certain scores or uh, assignment. Uh, and I think this is also, yeah, why the movement notation can be so um, valuable in uh, education and working with kids because for them also, it's, um, it's, um, the fact that it has nothing to do with any dance style necessarily, so no stereo stereotype. Mm -hmm. And uh, also it's offer, I think, uh, no hierarchy or any, um, how to say, the, the movements, no discriminations of, uh, of movement. I mean, there is not certain movement that you're supposed to perform or uh, not certain movement that are considered to be more beautiful or, uh, than the other to feel uh, um, certain enough with his own uh, body and mm. with his own uh, movement. 
And still, like Yael said, with all of this uh, organic and natural kind of uh, sensation and, uh, and um, feeling, there is also, it's very obvious from the film or watching it, there is a certain uh, score or something that they're all obeying and uh, they are very disciplined at the same time that they, there is a lot of uh, playfulness around it. Uh, yeah, Elle, it's so it's so striking to hear more talk about um, the fact that you know there's no way there's no correct way for these uh, movements yeah. for the children to be performed. Something that you said from our first uh, Feldenkrais uh, yeah. sessions, it, it's uh, it, the resonance is is yeah, it's amazing. Funny, I had the same. Nick, I I never heard it, I never thought about it. But when more said it, I had exactly the same. Like in the same moment you had it, I had it. The same well, insight. No, because when we learn Fenikras, actually we talk in the way we talk about these kids, that there is a movement is is um, adapted to you. It's not that you adapt to the movement. It's like the opposite. You you are entailed to do the movement in relation to your own body, your own capacity. So the way you talked about the children that how it's empowering them, it's a little bit mm. similar to how we give lessons in Fenning Christ. So, and then, and uh, more just to understand that, because the, the, the workshops themselves, they were not uh, led by uh, Noah Eshkol, were they? They were uh, led by uh, Dieter, Dieter, Dieter Perak, I think. Dieter Perak, yeah. yeah. הייתה דיטה, הייתה, אני לא יודעת איך היא החליטה ללמד ילדים, היא הייתה תלמידה של נועה וחברה טובה של נועה מילדות. דיטה היא מדגניה א' ונועה היא מדגניה ב'. So they were uh, girlfriends ever since, and uh, I think that a very, that a major uh, activity or from what Noah did with the notation, it's to teach it. This is part of the... Of the her legacy, so she she herself Noah had, had uh, students from different parts of the country, and from different institutions. Some were, were private uh, students, some uh, as part of a university or dance institution. And Dita was uh, as a friend. She was also uh, Noah's student and studied the notation. So. Um... Yeah, what a, a pleasure and honor to <laughs> be speaking with the three of you, really. Um, more, it was, yeah, such a shame we couldn't have you in Eindhoven, but to have this conversation um, is, yeah, definitely goes uh, goes a long way to, um, yeah, to, to making us feel that we brought some of the, the ideas and history and um, concepts from the archive, from the, from the, from the practice. So thank you so much um, to the three of you um, and uh, thank you everyone for listening um, and uh, yeah, we shall leave it there. Thank, thank you very you. much for having us.